Miami-Dade police officers rise up in support of the family for fallen police officer Jermaine Brown. The 15-year veteran of the force died last week on duty when the ATV he was on crashed in southwest Miami-Dade. And today as his family and fellow officers say goodbye, they also celebrate his life. CBS 4's Ted Scouten is live tonight in southwest Miami-Dade with more on how Officer Brown was remembered. Well, Jim, in Ruta Bay, a lot of people remembered him as a superhero. And today, for family and friends and for those who loved him, it was a very tough day as they had to say goodbye. A final goodbye and a heartfelt tribute to fallen Miami-Dade police officer Jermaine Brown. He was killed last week in an ATV accident while patrolling in southwest Miami-Dade. Family, friends, and co workers held a celebration of life at a funeral in Cutler Bay. His wife, Janine, who's a fellow police sergeant with her children by her side, found it hard to say goodbye and make sense of the crash that took her husband's life. You can do all things from flying planes to riding jet skis. So, why in the world would you have a problem with an ATV? <laughs> so, get up, my love. I'm waiting, my love. I keep trying to tell them this is not my reality. She, like many who knew Officer Brown, remembered him as a dedicated husband, father, and officer who loved his community. You did it, babe. God promoted you for all your good works. Good job, babe. Your rings, your wings are huge, so huge. They move in slow motion. I'm so proud of you. Well done. He left his place better. He made an impact, and he left a lasting impression. Miami-Dade Police Director Juan Perez struggled at times while speaking of his fallen officer, but assured his wife and children that they will never be alone. Let's rise up. Uniform personnel, may you rise up for this family. They're part of a large family. We will be there for you. Look around you. Look at the support from our forces. We are united as one. Officer Brown was buried this afternoon in a private ceremony. Live in Cutler Bay, Ted Scout, CBS 4 News.